Okay, so for this next haul that I have for you today, we are gonna pick up right where we left with the last haul. So it's kind of like a continuation, a part two, if you will. Um, that's why I have the stickers from the old haul kind of spread out behind this because I am running out of space on my desk to film. So that's why they are there as the backdrop. Um, as usual, I do have timestamps in the description box below so you can skip around to whichever shops you wanna watch or skip. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is my very first order from Wild Summer Designs and I admit a lot of these new shops or shops that are new to me that you've never seen on my channel before, I bought from because I am going through old hauls from like a year ago that I never got around to watching. And a lot of those featured shops that I haven't seen too much elsewhere. Um, but that I wanted to check out because I liked what I was seeing. So Wild Summer Designs is one of those. Like I would not, I don't hear much about them at all. Um, but I did see some of their stickers in my, in the halls from last year from like people like Viv and Holly and Andrea and Jess from Kittenish Girl Jess um, and Jessenia and everybody and Kiara. So all of their hauls um, are inspirations for me. So this is my first order from Wild Summer Designs. This is the business card. Um, so this is, looks like kind of an ad advertisement for the birthday sale coming up on October 3rd. So if you're seeing this before October 3rd, which I hope you are, take note. And it's kind of fun how you can put it in your planner with these like donut looking words, which is really fun. And then you also get some headers. I don't know if those are like normal size headers. They look kind of short um, as part of their freebie. So that's nice. I did get some foil. I got some bottom washi overlay, which is bat and leaf themed. So I'm not really sure if this is just fall or Halloween, but it looks like a mix of both. I got that in silver, of course. I got these haunted house full box overlays, which are really cool. These are just good things to throw into any Halloween spread. Spider web and spider overlays. And then these are kind of photo corners with spider webs. I probably have these from another shop, but I just threw these in because you can never have too many. Those are good to spice up any empty full box that you don't have. Um, a full box overlay for. So I did get probably a couple kits, maybe a few. Yeah, I got three, I think. These are not supered out by Cellos. I'm starting to realize that maybe shops aren't doing that because of A costs and B, the environmental f footprint, because Cellos are a lot of plastic that you end up, end up just like throwing away mostly. I reuse mine, but um, yeah, that may be why shops aren't doing that. But that's fine, because I have so many cellos left over from other kits that I can put these in. So this is the Back to the Castle kit. This is a photo kit for Harry Potter, and it is so gorgeous. And this paper, I'm dying over this paper. It feels like premium matte. I don't know if it's premium. I don't remember if it's premium matte or not, but it feels very premium matte. The print quality is fantastic, and it feels so buttery. Like, that's that's got to be that. It's got to be premium matte. So these photos were chosen very well and it does seem vaguely enough Harry Potter except for that which looks exactly like Hedwig but we've got the Hogwarts Express, the glasses, the trunks, the books, the letter, Hedwig, the potions, the inside the castle scene and then the quill. So very cool. Um, this is probably yeah, I got, so I got the mini kit and then I also threw in the extra page of full boxes for all of these because I wanted to be able to um, do no white space panning if I wanted to. So here we have the weekend banner, the gorgeous little flags with um, actual photo deco in there, which is really cool. These are labels, but the, the space to actually write is really tiny. So that's something to note. Habit trackers and a few headers in there. 
this really pretty bottom washi, which is another inside the castle scene with the light shining through, which is like that, but it's very cool. And then the stack of books as date covers, which is also awesome. And then the little um, date dots right there, which is very cool. And here's the page with all the boxes, and I like the little bows. Those are so cute. And that's a lot of boxes, so very, very useful. Yeah, so yeah, I, I really like her kits. Um, this doesn't have deco, of course, because it is a photo kit. And most people who do photo kits do not also do deco, but I have plenty of Harry Potter deco. Do not worry. So um, that, I think this was in her sale section. And I think there were, um, at one point, glitter headers for it, but they were sold out, I believe, so I didn't get those, but that's fine, because I have many other header options, including all the 5mm washi, so I'm not too concerned about missing out on that. But it's such a beautiful kit. I just, I had to get it anyway. So I have a couple more kits here. They are both photo kits, because that seems to be what I like from Wild Summer Designs. I'm curious if she changes the format for the ones that need deco. I don't know. So this is the Enchanted Forest one, and this is another one I just fell in love with. Um, haven't seen too much like it. So it is obviously a forest, very green, and lots of magic going on here with the abandoned ruins, the Horus, which should be a unicorn, but I'll live. Um, a wolf, she had a wolf kit that was very cool with like a white wolf in it, and it was kind of like snowy. It looked really neat, but I just, I don't know, I didn't need to get it. Um, so I just went with this one, and then there's the fox, the little mushroom fairy house, which is so cute. The tree, and then the little mushrooms there. Very cool. It's so pretty. It's just such a gorgeous kit. So this is the rest of the kit. I, oh, look at that bottom washi with the trees. I like it because it's not really a scene that is part of the full boxes, so you get extra photos with that. And then the date covers right there, and then the extra page of boxes. So these are such pretty kits. Like they actually look a lot better in person than they do on online, which is very unusual, but I'm so happy about that. So this is the glitter headers that came with that, the Enchanted Forest glitter headers. These I did manage to get, so I'm really happy about that. And then lastly, I got this Good Morning kit. And this is actually one that made me check out her shop and like want to place, want to place the order. I think I saw it on Instagram or something and I was like, I need that. So I got it and I'm not gonna lie, I got it mostly for that waffle box. Doesn't that look so delicious? It really does. Um, I love the kitty too. I could do without the dog, but I like the kitty. And it's just, it's so cozy. It's such a cozy morning vibes, and I just love this. It feels fall, even though it doesn't look necessarily all that fall. Um, it definitely has that vibe. So, really love that. I like the color scheme as well. This really cozy knit pattern for the bottom washi, and then the books for the date covers, the extra boxes, and then the glitter headers to go with that. So that is the other beautiful photo kit from Wild Summer Designs. I'm really loving her photo kits. So I'll be keeping an eye on her shop. And last from this huge bundle of orders, I have this from Shop Jessica Hearts. I guess it's just Jessica Hearts now, but um, this was during her fairy tale weekend. So obviously that's why this sticker is here so pretty. It's a little heart-shaped sticker with a holofold castle on it. And this gorgeous gold envelope. So this is the order. I love how she packaged it. Um, this really pretty journaling card that says hello gorgeous in like neon. And then a thank you from Jessica. So that's really, really cool. So this is the freebie that came with the order if you ordered on day three, which I did. I waited until the last minute. So these are the extra full boxes 
and labels that I got for that. I did get a few kits, I think four. I got four kits, I believe. So she was really nice and she put all the extras I got in with each cello. So the first one is the fairest of them all, Ultimate. Um, I did get the Ultimates of, I think all of them. That may have been the only option because I will typically, well, they may have been on a good sale, which is why I got that usually I'll get the mini kits. Um, so let's find the full box page. Oh no, I got the ultimate sheets to go along with the mini kits. That's what I did. All right, so here's the fairest of them all. This is the Snow White themed one. These are all photo kits and they all fairy tale photo kits. Obviously, because of Fairy Tale Weekend, there were she had like twelve of them in her shop, but I think I only liked four, so I only got four. But this one is very Snow White themed. I love it. Got the apple, the mirror, the crown, the woods, and then just castle stuff. It's not super duper Snow White, but it's just enough. And here's the extra date covers and boxes, and then the bottom washi and date cover. Or not to cover, um, habit tracker. And then here are some extra labels and headers. And the ultimate page, which contains some extra boxes, the checklists, and then the glitter headers, which is mostly what I got that page for. And then I did get the foil overlays for all of these kits. So this is the one for that. So there are a couple full box overlays, which are gorgeous. Um, and then one more that says mirror, mirror. I like how it's so subtle and that is perfect to go over this mirror, mirror box. Actually, it, I think it is meant to go over that. The others, I think you can just put over any of them. And then this is the bottom washi. So let me find the bottom washi. So if you put it together, it makes the quote, who's the fairest, or I guess that's supposed to go over this one who's the fairest of them all. So very cool for the Snow White themed one. Next is the Brave one. I'm kind of going least favorite to most favorite in terms of Disney. Some of them I liked the theme, but I didn't like how she did it. But these I liked how she did it. So. This is the brave one. I love that girl in her red hair. And the just, you know, the Scottish theme of all of it. Very cool with the horse and the Stonehenge. And the bears, oh my god, the bears. The arrows, the Scottish castle. And then if you had a chance to change your fate, would you? Just a quote from the movie, a very cool. There's the bottom washi on the ultimate sheet right there. So here is the overlay for that. You have this one with the crown, and I think that's meant to go over that one, which is really cool. So I hope it lines up. I'm sure it does. I can't wait to use that. And this plain one and this decorative one. You got also fold icons on these as well. Um, and then the quote for this, let me find the bottom washi, it says, our fate lives within us. You only have to be brave enough to see it. So I'm loving that one. I love the red and green and the gray of the rocks. So that's the brave with Merida. And then we have the bell one. Of course, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney princess. Well, Disney princess movie. Belle is my favorite princess. Let's be accurate about that. So these are the full boxes. Very beautiful. I love the yellows brought into it. The rose, the books, the castle. I'm sure that's like a French castle. And then she said, and the clock, which looks just like um, Cogsworth, which is so funny. And then Lumiere, of course. And that beautiful yellow dress. I love that so much. 
We're really capitalizing along the rose theme for the day covers. And I love the book's bottom washi. That's so cool. And there's that sheet and then the ultimate sheet with the glitter headers. And then this foil overlay says, a song as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast, which is like the last lines of, um, I guess the chorus of the song. And then there's the quote box, tale as old as time. Um, some pretty deco here instead of icons, which I really like. Um, a couple other really beautiful decorative full boxes there. I really love this one, especially. So that is the bell kit. And then lastly is the Alice kit, which of course I had to get, and this was one of the reasons I placed the order, obviously, if you know me and my obsession with Alice in Wonderland. I'm really glad that I actually liked this kit because I was worried, but I love it. I love that, that tea party scene so much. I love all of this so much. So there's the beautiful blue dress. I, I love like any variation on Alice's like blue dress. Like you can't go wrong with that. Even though that looks kind of more Cinderella than Alice, like I'll take it. And then there's the little, the rabbit, the 10 of six hat, um, the double box with the tea party setup. I love that so much the pocket watch and then the maze with the checkerboard right here. That doesn't look like a real photo, um, but it's close enough that it matches. And then the quote, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are, which is from the movie actually, um, from the first Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie, which I really liked. Um, so yeah, very, very pretty boxes there. And here is the tea party scene again for the bottom washi. Um, just quickly show you the others before we go over the foil. So this is gold foil. Um, so this is just kind of a design of a teapot and then the white rabbit for this one. And then this one that says down the rabbit hole and then the Cheshire cat smile, which is so funny. Then here we have an outline of Alice, um, some icons here. And then here we have just a kind of down the rabbit hole full box scene and then the mushrooms here. So I'm probably gonna use that one with that one. I think that would be really perfect right there. And then this one would go really well right here. Maybe this one would. So many options. That's probably what I'm gonna do, something like that. So I love that. I can't wait to use like all of my Alice kits. I have so many now. I have probably like four or five, probably four. I want to see more of those from shops. And then these, I don't really know where I'm going to throw these in. I'm going to just probably add them to my collection of, well, I might just add them into one of these two because I like nine full boxes with my kits, but these only have eight. So I may just toss them in wherever I see fit to one of those kits. But yeah, that is my awesome order from Jessica Hartz and my first order from her. Um, yeah, I guess I haven't really seen fit to order until now, but I will be keeping an eye out in case she does more beautiful photo kits or things of that nature. So yeah, that is the end of the very tiny first part of this haul which is a continuation of the last one. So let's get into the next one. Okay, so for this next part of the haul, we have two orders. One is from Skull Prince Co. and one is from What's More With Love. So let's do Skull Prince Co. first. Um, two of these kits are from the actual order and one's from the buy, sell, trade. So let me kind of take out the extras first. It's always like completely random whether I take out the extras first or like after I go over the kits. I don't know. I kind of want to put all the extras with the kits as I show them to you. So that's what we're going to do. So I have two kits here. One of these is the um, Mean Girls kit. It is called Fetch, obviously. Um, this is not exclusive art. But I do like what she did with it, as usual. So, 
we have the four girls right here. I think you can put that together as a double box if you want. Um, this is definitely a double box, obviously. Then we have several uh, classic moments from the movie in scenes. This is the mini kit. I'm not really going to go through the format because I'm sure you are aware. And if you want to know more, then I would suggest checking out her website. I did also get the label add-on as I usually do and the glitter headers, of course. I didn't get the washi strip add-on because I think it was my plan to um, just use washi I already had because this is like, you know, pretty much any shade of pink washi is going to go well with this. So if I wanted to cut the washi already in the kit, then I'm sure I would have plenty to go with it. So that's that. Then this is the Christmas Magic Kit. I don't remember if this is exclusive or not. I don't remember seeing it anywhere else though. So this is just essentially a Christmas at Disney kit. I'm seeing a lot of those this year and I do love that. So um, it is red and green. I don't really like this color, like well, it's almost lime green. Um, and she does that a lot in her kit. So I don't tend to like it that much, but I will make an exception for this kit because I really like everything else. I just really love that double box scene of, you know, the castle and I think that's Main Street before that. Um, and just all the other little details, you know, the, the mug of hot cocoa with the Mickey head marshmallow. Very fun. So this is also a mini kit and I did get a lot of the extras for this one. Got the label sampler, of course, and the glitter headers. I don't think I got the washi strip with this one either. I did get the fashion girls right here. It's just a girl with a camera. And then I got the family box. I did get it with the pale skin and black hair. Just because I thought it went well enough, I guess. And that is the Christmas magic kit. I really really like that one. I like the art. It's like really detailed and that I can appreciate. So that's that one. For the truly extra stuff, this is the journaling card that came with it. It is the season to sparkle. I like how she puts her um, her fall journaling cards in their own cellos sometimes. It's really nice to ensure that nothing happens to them. I did get two foil things. I'm not sure if I got these before or not. It's quite possible that I did get these in a previous order, but I don't remember. Um, anyway, I have more now. So I got the same one in both gold and silver. These are just full box overlays. This one says the most wonderful time of the year and then merry and bright. So just very classic Christmas full box overlays. Can always have those. And then I needed to get my order up to $50. So I threw in this as well. This is the label sampler. And I think the spring colors, I think this is the spring multicolor for just a bunch of labels. Um, I thought this would be really useful for pulling it into spreads that I'm trying to do some white space with that I don't have enough um, already in the kit. So just useful to have on hand. I want to try to collect some of the, um, the half boxes as well and stuff. All right, so that's from her actual shop. And then this I got from the buy, sell, trade. I was looking for this for so long the Home Alone kit. I was waiting for it to come back and I finally did in the buy sell trade. So this is the ultimate kit. Um, I really love this. I like the art. A lot of people have used the art, but I really liked the way that she put it together the most. So I really wanted to get it from Skillware Prints Co. Um, it did come with extra boxes that actually made it Home Alone because this can just be Christmas time right now. But if you add on those boxes, it would like actually look like Home Alone. However, um, I haven't seen those offered yet, so I don't, you know, I don't really know if I'm going to get my hands on them. But Simply a Mess is coming out with the same art in her shop this year. Um, so I am probably just going to buy her full boxes because they, you know, they have some of the actual um, art that makes it a home alone kit so I'm probably going to add those on to this and that's my plan for that 
And this is the old freebie that comes with it. So this, again, this is the ultimate, but I'm not really going to go through that because I'm sure you know what it looks like. But I'm really glad that I got my hands on this because I do like Home Alone and I'm sure I'll be watching it. Um, this is also the freebie that came with it. So she is giving these out um, until they run out. She has the same freebie in, I think, four, at least four different foil colors. I don't think I have the gold one yet, so I'm really happy about that. It is not on clear paper. It is on white a white backing as you can see but this is like a really sparkly gold so I really like that so you have munchkins over here and headers over here so I'm building up quite my collection of those and then also um, when she sent this to me from the bicycle trade she also gave me this um, once more with love journaling card which I think is so cute it's a double-sided one so sweater weather on the back and that's a good segue into my Once More With Love order, and that's the journaling card that comes with that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So, um, it's my first order in a while from Once More With Love, and it's definitely not everything I wanted. I still have a lot of things on my wish list, um, but it's possible that she was having a sale or something, so I tend to take advantage of that and she's had a ton of new releases coming out lately that I've loved and I think some of them I also wanted to use in upcoming spreads so I kind of had to um had to pick those up in order to have those in time she's been like really turning out like awesome stuff like a lot of good Disney stuff so there's the thank you note on the back of the journaling card I actually love this stamp that she uses as like a thank you thing on the invoice. That's so fun. Such a cool idea. So here are the freebies that came with it. Um, this is, I guess, just the basic freebie for August. Kind of boring, kind of disappointing because I don't really use this type of sticker at all, but I may give this away and then so yeah it must have been the go wild sale so this is the sale freebie yeah a lot of it is um go wild themed but this is just an order tracker which is really fun and functional i might actually start using those more if i do no white space planning i think my next spread is planned to be no white space pr planning um, most likely you've already seen that spread by now, but I'm filming this really early because I don't want my hauls to be too long. So I tend to break them up. All right, so now for my actual order. Yeah, I have a lot of Halloween stuff in here, so that's kind of why I bought this now. Um, first, of course, is the Charlie Brown sheet, which is the Welcome Great Pumpkin sheet. So Charlie and Snoopy and the pumpkin and Linus and Woodstock very adorable and then the upside down so this is the stranger things sheet stranger things season three i haven't done that spread yet so i also wanted to get this as like deco or something um so i could use that on that spread so you have all of the old characters i like how there's two versions of the um demogorgon that's really funny to me and then there's some of the new characters i love Elle's new outfit there <laughs> and then stupid Steve's new outfit, new uniform rather, and then Max and, and Will the Wise, <laughs> it's so funny to do that one, and then just the waffle, and then stupid Billy also, oh my god, I love all of these, alright, and then here's It, uh, I still haven't seen It chapter 1 yet, and now they're all in like chapter 2, and there's going to be a chapter 3, we think, so. Uh, I'm way behind on that, but it is my plan to read it on um, this Halloween season, and then I think I'll try to watch the movie after that, so I'll just have these on hand for that. I know I'm, I'm going to like it. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to think it's fantastic, because, like, I'm not scared of clowns. I just, I think it's hilarious trying to make them scary, but hopefully it'll be at least creepy. All right, and then this is the Yurang sheet, so this is the Adams Family haven't seen that either, but it's also on my list for this year, so this is, you'll see, yeah, I'm sure you'll see this when I do that spread, whenever that will be. I do 
have an Adam's Family kit on my list that I want to get. I don't, I don't have it yet, but I think I want the one from Keytown. All right, this is, what's this? So this is the Nightmare Before Christmas sheet, and there's so many kits for that, so I'm sure this will come in handy. Got all the cute little characters on there. That's a big thing this year, as is this. So this is the Haunted Mansion kit. I love how she does a little ghost effect. Oh, it's like very washed out. That's very cool. And then like the most famous painting, which is actually in journaling card form, which I'm sure I have somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can like reach over and pull it out in time, but I, I don't want to have to go digging through every single one. Oh, wait, no, I found it. Here it is. I love that. I love that. That's like my favorite journaling card. I don't know. I miss the ride. I haven't been on the ride in so long. It's like actually my favorite ride though. So I haven't been to Disney in so long. That's the real thing. That's a real problem. But I have plenty of kits and stickers to use for whenever that happens again. All right. And then let it go. So this is obviously the frozen kit. So cute. I, I do have a few, I think three possibly frozen kits right now and there's going to be a lot more than I want to get because they're really coming out without art too because uh, this sequel is coming out this year um all right so let me see I want to get through all the like pop culture stuff first and then go into just the generic seasonal stuff and then I guess there's just one random sheet in here all right so this is funny. Edward was here. This is the Edward Scissorhands sheet. I haven't seen like any stickers related to that at all, but I think it's so cool. I actually think Keytown may have a kit that's Edward Scissorhands themed, possibly. So that would be really cool to get that kit and then use these as deco with that. But yeah, this is just Edward. And then I think that's his mom figure in the movie. And then that's the girl who's like quote-unquote love interest. I don't remember the movie too well. I've seen it a couple times, but I just, it's not super memorable. I love it, but it's not super memorable, so either way, it would be nice to mark it in my planner. Um, and then we have the Mean Girls sheet, of course. Pretty much everybody's coming out with these. Um, I have one from Shine Sticker Studio, one from the Coffee Monsters Co., and now Once More With Love, um, just Mean Girls sheets. And then, again, I have plenty of kits to use for this, including this one, so these could be just like deco for that or just anything during the week. Very fun. I like how it's like different moments from the movie instead of just like the classic characters. Um, all right, and then this is the only Disney sheet I got for some crazy reason. I literally don't know why because there was like, I wanted all of her Disney sheets, but um, this is the only one I picked up right now for some reason. So, um, it's called Let's Get Down to Business. It's the Mulan sheet. And we have a couple versions of Mulan, Shang, Mushu. I have no idea who that is, like, at all. Is that the dog? Is there a dog in the movie? If there is, I don't remember at all, but that looks kind of like a dog. I don't know what the ears are doing. <coughs> Sorry. As usual, I'm getting a frog in my throat from filming so long. Um, and then the cricket. Honestly, I have... What is it in Cricky? Is it something dumb like that? I don't know. It's a cricket. And then everybody else. I don't even remember the name of the villain. I'm so bad. And I watched this recently, too. And I watched the sequel recently, too. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. I don't have any Mulan kits, either. I haven't seen any Mulan kits. Where's the Mulan kits, people? Come on. I've, I'm almost 100% certain that Andre is coming out with one with Scobo Prince Co. So hopefully we will see that. But that's that. And then here is pop culture, but segueing into the Halloween stuff. So horror movie characters. Got Freddy. Um, is that Jason? Question mark. I haven't seen either of those movies. So like, I don't know. The Scream character. Uh, I know who that is. That's Jigsaw's stupid puppet from the Saw movies. I freaking love those movies. Um, and then Chucky, I think. I haven't seen that either. Oh my god. I Yeah, I have a lot on my list this Halloween season, and we'll probably segue into next season. Um, while we're on the topic of movies, I did get these movie marquees. I actually love the idea of these. Like, I wasn't into them until, um, until 
the Coffee Monsters Co. started putting out her marquees, and I started wanting to use those instead of, like, doing what I usually do, um, which is just using, like, a half box or a marquee and then putting a character sticker over it. I, I kind of like having it already on there, so I don't necessarily have to, like, have that a whole sheet of that character sticker just to mark that one movie. I like having it, you know, already, like, seamed out for me. Um, so, yeah, I especially love these for that. So... Nightmare Before Christmas, Beetlejuice, um, Hocus Pocus, dare I speak the name, um, Wreck-It Ralph, for some reason, because that's not, like, a Halloween movie at all, I don't know why that's on here, but that's really fun to me. well, neither is, um, neither are these two, so that's okay, um, it, Harry Potter, oh my god, look at stupid Harry, why is his hair brown, that's not right, his hair's supposed to be black, that's weird, um, Wicked, I did see that musical a long time ago, and then Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin or whatever it's called. Very cute. So these other three sheets are just kind of, a couple are Halloween, one's fall. So the one fall sheet is the PSL sheet. Yeah, it's pumpkin spice season. So got to have the sheet for that. So cute. And then the two Halloween sheets. This one is just like Halloween um, coffee cups, like from Starbucks or whatever, always very useful. So during the whole month of October, I'm probably going to use this to mark getting Starbucks. A lot of shops are doing this, this like Halloween coffee cup thing. That's so funny. Like why is that a thing this year all of a sudden? I don't know. Um, and then this is just random Halloween deco. Again, I'm just going to use this as like deco for kits that maybe don't have deco or don't have enough deco. Or just, you know, any any Halloween-related things, like, I don't know, decorating for Halloween or something, or, like, putting out candy or going trick-or-treating. So, yeah, just, like, really cute, random Halloween deco. And then the one random sheet I got was the organized sticker sheet, because I can't have enough uh, stickers to d denotate organizing stickers. And most of the ones I have are big, so I really like small ones. I hope this is, like, a new sheet that she's gonna like keep in her shop like a long time because I definitely will go through this really fast so super duper love that like there's um two versions here and then the script at the bottom of course I don't organize my stickers either of those ways I don't have a rascog and I don't use the little um, little bin with the files in it like a lot of shops do for the inventory I might do it for my own inventory but for my like character stickers and kits and stuff those go in binders so i will show you that eventually that organization because i need to print off a bunch more labels and stuff and i need to really get my foil binders like in shape because they are not nearly organized enough down to the specific type of foil like i'm good on colors and um like seasons and holidays but i feel like they need to be separated into like scripts and overlays and deco and like other they need to be organized on a deeper level so that's going to be like a huge project but um you'll eventually see my binders um I basically do what Andrea does from Stroll Prince Co like she's done videos on hers but I do it way more in depth than she does probably more than a lot of people do actually um but yeah I will probably show you my washi before that because my washi drawers, I just like redid them with the new bow knobs and everything and they are pretty full and they're looking good so you will probably see that sooner. But stay tuned anyway. So we have room for I think one more segment of this haul so stay tuned for that. Alrighty so I've got a lot of stuff for this last part of the haul. I'm going to try to get through it all but I may not be able to so some of it may be pushed to the next haul. But in order to save time, let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start with this kind of big order from Keytown. I placed this order because um, he was having a huge last chance sale. And that's pretty much like the only section I buy from right now. Because like I like a lot of the stuff, but it's just too expensive to get all of it at once. Um, in fact, I may have hauled the first kit I got from last chance earlier in this haul or in the last one. Um, so you're kind of already familiar with the spiel I always give, but yeah, so all this was 40% off and I, I'm right now I'm just waiting until all the kits I like hit the last chance section so I can buy them. 
or I'm gonna wait till he has a Christmas sale, whichever comes first. So there were, however, a quite a few kits I wanted um, that were in it right now and it was 40% off. So I had to get them. The first was the Hunchback of Notre Dame kit that you've seen before. Um, again, I don't remember if that was in this haul or the last one, but you've probably seen it if you watch my videos. Um, but there were four more that I wanted to pick up after that. Um, the Hunchback wasn't on 40% off sale, I think. It was on some kind of last chance sale, but these were. Or maybe it wasn't even at all. I don't know. But, um, let's get into it. So, so firstly, I have this Finding Nemo kit. I actually haven't seen any Finding Nemo kits anywhere else. So, um, I had to pick this one up. I like it because it is very cartoony, but it's not like, it's not like the movie because the movie was, you know, CG, 3D cartoons, and this is 2D. So I kind of like that it's still paying tri tribute to the cartoon nature of it without copying it exactly. Um, this is definitely based more on Finding Dory, I believe, because there's, you know, Hank the Octopus and whoever that is. Oh my god, I... I saw it, I swear. It's just, I'm, I can't remember anybody. I know Dory. <laughs> I know Marlon and Nemo. I don't remember that bird. That bird seems like so familiar. Is that Becky? Why did that just come to me and, and nothing else did? I'm, that's probably Becky. I remember her being like really annoying, but like somehow helpful in the film. I don't know. And then of course the iconic just keep swimming quote. So this is really cute. I love this. Um, I don't remember what format this was in. I think if it was offered in like the mini format or like the most basic format, then that was what I chose. So that's typically what I'll do. So let me just kind of see what we got here. Yeah, that's most likely what I think this is. I like all that deco that it covers and I love the date dots. They're so bold. Oh, that's a really cute extra box right there with the, with the girl. I don't remember her name. I know she's a girl. I know she had a pretty name. I just don't remember what it is. I'm so bad. Anyway, I love that. I'm gonna have to try to find a place for that. On that page, this one with the check boxes. So this is probably the full kit, actually, if it came with this and everything else. Yeah, most likely was the full kit. And then the bottom washi. I love that bottom washi. I'm not gonna cut that. So that was the Finding Nemo kit. There it did not come with glitter headers. There was not an option for that. Whereas I think all the other kits I got did. But that's fine because I am certain that I will find some headers somewhere that I can use with this kit. It's gonna happen. It's really fun. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for because like I already saw Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, so I'll just I guess I'll just use it for a rewatch at some point. And same for this one. This is a Toy Story kit. Um I really like this one also. This is very Toy Story 4. I do have my Toy Story kit picked out though. Um, but like since this is like Toy Story 4 specific, I might want to use this. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it because I already have the kit picked out. But like I could save that for another, for like a rewatch or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that because I did buy a, a crap ton of foil to go with that week too. Um, I'm going to have to see if it's going to fit better over these full boxes or those. Anyway, this does look very much to me like somebody just took some, like, official art of the characters and, like, put a filter on it so it looks like it was, like, painted or sketched or whatever. So, like, I mean, it, there's a very real possibility it could have been just completely hand-drawn, but it looks, like, too close to the movie for that so I'm not too sure about that or like the legality of it or whatever but I you know I don't really care about that stuff in in the long run so I'm you know I picked it up anyway occasionally I will go for kits that are like super accurate to the movie um I think this is the mini kit format but I did also get the glitter headers in addition to that and these are the glossy ones yeah I, I will typically pick up kits in glossy so I'm gonna have to look and see where I where I want to use that. 
And then the Moana kit, um, I've seen this art probably maybe once before, but I didn't think to pick it up because I don't really like Moana. I got the Moana kit from Skull Prince Co. that I'm probably going to use at some point, but I don't know. I just really like this art, so, you know, I feel, like, compelled to get it and use it for some rewatch of Moana or something. Well, I'm trying to force myself to like it more. Um, this was, I think, a full kit because it came with the extra full boxes here and then the glitter headers also. So, oh, and it also came with these movie marquees right here, which has Moana, but also a bunch of other Disney movies, which is really cool. I like how the Aristic Cats is on there because that's like, I love that movie so much, but like you never see it in like any format. I know he has an Aristic Cats ki kit though, and I want that so bad. Um, so this would go perfectly with that. Um, and all the others are really cool as well. I love how it's written in because like that means I don't have to, you know, try to fit it in with my tiny handwriting. Um, so that kind of went along with this too. So yeah, I just, I really love the style of it. I think I've seen this in like one other shop. I think possibly like simply a master or one of those other shops with the nine full boxes has this art too. I'm not sure. I just saw it here first and it was in the last chance. So this is the version I got. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So it's just a pretty kit. It's just pretty art. Well done. And then the last one I got was this Super Mario scene kit. I, I like, for some reason, I'm obsessed with the idea of Super Mario scene kits because it's, ju it's just a concept that lends itself so well to a weekly kit, to a scene kit. Like, it's just perfect. I know Odd Loop has one that I want to get, and I saw this one, and I was going to, like, try to choose between the two, but then I was like, why choose when I can have both? So, um, so since it wasn't the last chance, it's like, it's my last chance to get it. Don't want to regret it. So I got it. Um, glitter headers that came with that or that I bought to go with that. So scene kit, if you're not familiar, is where you have to put all of the boxes in order like this and it creates a scene. I'm going to try to get it all on camera at once. This is really cute. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but um, it is, I like the like cartoony nature. Like it's not necessarily my style of cartoon, but like you know, you're not you're not gonna be able to make it exactly like the video game because of legality issues. So I'll take it. So there's Mario, Luigi, the Goombas, the Koopa Troopas, and Toad and Peach. I love Mario games. They're probably my number one favorite video games. Actually, Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo DS is like is actually my favorite video game of all time, even more than Odyssey. And I beat Odyssey halfway. So. But I, I love Odyssey, so I'm gonna say Odyssey. Odyssey is probably my second favorite of the Mario games. I love Galaxy though. I love all the like 3D Super Mario games. Like 3D Land was also really cool. But I also love the 2D platformer ones, like su like New Super Mario Bros. for like the DS and the Wii. I'm sorry, my camera keeps slipping. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with like the newer Mario games. Not so much the old school ones, but the newer ones I really love. So this is a perfect way to pay tribute to that. I may just use this for a week that I get really into video games again because like I don't play regularly. I like I go through phases of whatever video game I'm obsessed with at the time and then I'll forget about it. But this will be good for a Mario phase. So um, uh, the point of this is either that you use these for two full boxes worth or you kind of squish it into the bottom washi a little bit. So I generally like to look at the bottom washi and make the decision about how I want to how I want to play that. This does look like it was a bigger kit. Yeah, I think this was the full kit for this one. So here's the bottom washi. It does look really cute though. Like I would not, I would not want to cut that necessarily. So it may just have to be like that. I would just have to sacrifice, you know, full box space. Or I guess this could be a, a good uh, kit, a good contender for using Day extenders, which I haven't used yet because I intend to make my own, but like this would be a great time to use that. I probably wouldn't use it with this box, but I would use it, I would put it over the the other f um, the other empty box and have that just fold down over this. That's how I would play that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So you'll get to see that whenever that happens. I don't know when I'm going to get back into Mario games, but we'll see. Um, and then also this box, which would most likely go in the sidebar, and then you are your only limit, which is obviously the quote box. 
So that, yeah, that works out really well, I think, all things considered. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight for the coat box, and then the extra sidebar box that would be like the ninth full box in kits that include nine. So that's that's what I'm thinking for that. The odd loop one is really cool in that um, the bottom washi and the sidebar washi also kind of creates a scene too. So like it's like a double scene kit almost. But both of these kits are really both of those kits are really cool. So I'm loving that. I'm loving just video game kits in general because you don't see a ton. You don't see a ton out there. I'm trying to think of any others. Um, I know that Creating a Code did a, uh, the Sims, the Magic, the new Magic expansion recently. Um, and then, you know, the couple Mario kits that I've seen. I think Keytown has also done like a Zelda kit. There goes the camera. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't play Zelda. So I'm probably not going to get that. But definitely check out Keytown for like all of your super obscure pop culture kits. Like that's like what I love like more than anything. Like, I haven't seen a Nemo kit elsewhere. I haven't seen an Aristocats kit elsewhere, but they're really good kits and I love them. Haven't seen too many Spider-Man kits. And um, that was the first kit I ever got from Keytown was a Spider-Man kit. So really check Keytown out. I just, I'm obsessed with pop culture kits more than any other kit. They're my favorite to get and use. So I definitely recommend that. And here's the sampler that came with it, the freebie, the October freebie. I actually have this version, I think in, um, in matte paper. So it's nice to have a glossy one too, just depending on whatever kit I'm using when I use this. So very cute. I'll just let you look at that. So that is Keytown. Alrighty, what do we want to get into next? Um, I am going to go through my creating and co-sub. I'm still subbed. I'm going to be subbed until there comes a theme that I don't really like and then I'm going to unsub. And then if there's... Actually, I think at that point I would just stop subbing because I know that she says she's going to put her sub kits in the shop um, after they ship out to the subscribers but like I don't care when I get the kit as long as I like it I'll get it so um I think you do miss out on the foiled freebie if you aren't subbed but like I can probably live with that and if I really want it like I'll just I'll sub again that week or whatever um the first sub I got last month was the fall one and I really loved that one I I am subbed to the ultimate because I like both pages of full boxes y'all know I'm obsessed with full boxes like I'll just stock up on those man I have so many extras I can create a kit out of any page of full boxes like that that doesn't stop me so um so it's really important to me to have those options and this kit doesn't disappoint either so this is a rainy day kit theme so I do I do like rainy day kits and wherever I live it happens to be a place that rains a lot except Arizona that's like the one place that didn't rain a lot but everywhere else I've lived it rains a lot or at least certain during certain seasons it does. So it's very appropriate to for me to get um, a rainy day kit. I have like only two, I think, already. So this will be my third. And if I can stretch it with these extra full boxes, my third and fourth. So these are the full boxes. I like the blue. I think blue tends to be the pretty common color scheme to use for a rainy day kit. But yeah, I like the cozy vibes, the, you know, the books and the... I guess that's a cinnamon roll and then the little I'm guessing that's like a, a mug of coffee or something but like it looks like a, a rainy cloud in there that's so cute um the dance in the rain quilt box that's a really pretty quilt box I like the doodles in there the umbrella the the scrabble of course the lightning outside that's so cool and the dog which you know I won't probably won't feel too bad about throwing out that full box in favor of the cat one because that's so cute. Um, the bathtub, the, the stack of books and the coffee. Oh my God. That's like a, a hobo weeks right there. And the more light, I love the lightning throughout. That's just so cool to me. So I really love that. So let's go through the rest of the kit. Here we have the deco date covers and um, characters down here, which are really cute, even though they're dogs. Again, I also want to point out that I love how she includes two sets of date covers so that you can really stretch this kit for two weeks. The only thing I don't think she does is the bottom washi, but 
honestly, like, there's a super easy hack for that that you probably already know, um, which is just, you know, cutting it in half and using the bottom half and, like, simply gild it on top of that and then using the top half and then simply gild it on top of that for the next week that you want to use this with. Like, that makes perfect sense, so. And then here's your eight checklists and then the sidebar tracker in there. It's the headers, little things, and washi strips, and then the beautiful glitter headers that come with that. Again, there's only one set of these, but it's easy to find headers elsewhere. And then there's the cutout icons, and I think she is discontinuing this with um, subs going forward, which is fine with me. I do like icons, but like, honestly, I don't need them because I have so many character stickers. It just wouldn't make sense. So I'll just like have so many of these that I would only use a few of, if any. And then the foil that goes with that is this overlay right here. So we have two just like rain overlays. These are in silver. Uh, the rain one would go to perfect over that one. So that's probably where I'm going to use the first one and maybe that one for the second one. I like how there's fall leaves in there, like that's so perfect. Then let me see the other page. Um, hmm. The rain would probably go good over that one too, although that's like a covered area, so it wouldn't really make sense, but I don't know. There's possibilities. And then the lightning strike, which is very cool. I would like actually that one to go over that one. I think that would make more sense. And then Dance in the Rain, and this is another cool thing she does. This is a quote box overlay, so it overlays perfectly over the quote box. I'm obsessed with that. I love it when shops do that. That's like my favorite thing in the world, so. Super excited about that. Of course, you know, it's way past rainy season here. In early fall, it still feels like summer, so. Um, it's, you know, it's actually getting overcast in the mornings, but it's never getting to the point of really being rainy. I think that's more of a spring thing for us in, in the Bay Area, but um, I'm sure it will eventually rain again, and I'll get to use that. And this is the journaling card I'd rather be reading. I'm not sure if I already have this one. Yes, I do. I got this one in my last in my last order. Maybe the last sub. I don't know. So this one will go to the destash pile, or the giveaway pile rather. And that is the September sub. Love it. Okay, so next we're gonna go over my sweet bean plans order. This is my first order from her in like a long time, like almost a year. I want to say. I was. I was letting my wish lists really stock up but when i saw that she was offering this freebie for orders on that day which was two dollar tuesday i had to jump on it i didn't actually buy any two dollar tuesday stickers because i think they were all her coffee trays or something which i i think it's the cutest idea in the world but like i will literally never use one in a spread like i can't think of a single instance in which i would actually use one so I just like looking at them, but I didn't buy them. Anyway, I just had to make sure I got this freebie no matter what. This is the Alice in Wonderland freebie. It originally came in two colors. I think she did a plan, or not a plan, a collab with Adorably Amy Designs. So Amy's sampler was, I think, rose gold, but this is um, Sweet Bean Plan sampler, and it is gold. And I'm so glad I got this one because this is the one I really wanted because I'm collecting gold foil to use with an Alice kit and all of my other foil overlays that I plan to use are gold, so this matches with that. And this is just so perfect. So you have the little Painting the Roses red quote and bonkers and off with their heads with a little outline of the Queen of Hearts that we're all mad here, which would be perfect for like a quote box or something, just layering over a box to make it a quote box in the corner. And then you have two header overlays, the, um, the playing card symbols and then the roses. I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm just so excited about this. And then the little teacup and the tea bag and then the little rose divider. Oh my God, I want like all, I want like 10 of these sheets. I want this to be like a permanent shop edition and I want there to be more like designs. Like I'm so obsessed with this. I, re I really love this, um, this freebie. I'm so glad I got this. This is just like everything I love. So, oh, so crazy. I did go crazy with the order too, actually. Cause like I said, it had been a while since I have bought anything from Sweet Bean Plans. So. I'm all about that right now. Um, I did get several flat lays because I am flat lay obsessed. And I did get a lot of her fall and Halloween stuff too. 
um, not a ton of it. It's like her style is to the point where I like it, but I also don't think it's too far out of my realm of ability to draw myself. So there are things I will not get from her shop. Um, but some things it's just easier because she's already done them for me. So it's just easier to pick them up. So these are the flat lays I got versus the non flat lays. So you can clearly see where my priorities are. So we'll go over non flat lays first. Um, let's see, seasonal, 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 seasonal and non seasonal. All right, so non seasonal first we have this sheet which I don't remember the sheet names, but you can obviously see what number it is up there. Um, but this is kind of like the Beauty and the Beast deco sheet. So we have the little cloche with the rose, and then you have the teacup, which is obviously chip, but without the face. And then we have the little shelf with the rose and candle deco on it. Very pretty. So this would be cute to just jazz up any kind of Beauty and the Beast spread or like as deco or to use this like stickers for certain events if you want whatever you want to use that for um very cute beating the beast is my favorite disney movie so had to include that um then the shark sheet um i don't know i realized i didn't have any shark stickers and so i was kind of on the hunt for it because there are occasions where i need a shark sticker like if i watch a shark movie for instance like i watched Char shark tale the other day and i want to actually be able to use that and i didn't have any like shark stickers from any samplers which like really surprised me because I could have sworn I had one but I didn't I didn't even have a onesie or anything so um so I needed to buy a sheet I was gonna buy one from Fox and Cactus but um I don't have enough in my wish list to justify an order quite yet I'm getting there but not quite yet maybe with the Christmas release I will most likely and I am gonna get that eventually but um I had to get one sooner than that just in case so I just picked up the shark sheet from Sweet Bean Plans to so the classic gray shark and the pink which is so cute and it's gonna go with so many pink spreads um, I think it's a whale shark. And then just, this is just like classic front facing shark design. I love the little teeth. Aren't, isn't that so cute? <laughs> it's got like little third, three teeth sticking out. This little smile. And then the hammerhead. These are so cute. I'm like, I love these. Like that's just like the perfect shark pose. I don't know. This sheet is like per shark perfection. And I'm obsessed with sharks. I'm like, I'm weird about it now. Like if I see a stuffed shark like I kind of have to get it now I bought one for my little girl Anna my snake um as her like little color toy and she does color sometimes it's so cute but like now it's like a thing so I saw a shark at the grocery store the other day a shark plush that was a lot bigger and I had to convince myself not to buy it because I was like yeah I want to get it just to just to have like I'm, I'm not gonna do anything with it it's too big for Anna to play with but I don't know I might go back and get it like I'm just I'm weirdly going through a shark phase clearly which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, I've always been like Hagrid and then I'll be drawn to like things that other people find scary. Um, all right, so here's seasonal. So we'll go kind of in order of seasons. First fall happened. So it got these adorable fall dividers. I love these so much. So there's like little pumpkin divider. I don't even think I've ever used a divider in a spread. Like maybe I've used one once or twice. Like usually I have too much stuff going on that I don't have room, but like um, I'm trying to convince myself to make room for dividers because they're so dang cute. So little pumpkins and then little acorns and like fall leaves and flowers and stuff. I love the bold lines because not all of her designs include these bold lines, but I do like that. Like if you look at this, the lines are very thin. This is great for a divider. So that's the fall dividers and this is like the fall baking. So you've got your, you know, probably pumpkin spice donut. This little cake with little mini pumpkins on it, which is so cute. Just a plain pie little cupcake with a little pumpkin and then the slice of pumpkin pie very classic and then going into Halloween this is the only Halloween sheet I got so this is this like wonky cake in this uh, theme of Nightmare Before Christmas which is so fun I actually think all of this is Nightmare Before Christmas which makes sense so there's zero the dog the three little trick-or-treater kids that work for Oogie Boogie here are all the like potions um, Deadly Nightshade, Frog's Breath, and Worm's Wort. Um, and then the two Jack and Sally cups, which are so cute. And then the Jack and Sally pumpkins. And I love those so much. This would be great deco for one of the hundreds of Nightmare Before Christmas kits that I have. And then lastly, we have Christmas dividers. You know, I love dividers. so And I love Christmas dividers. So I had to pick up these. You got a little kind of like garland there. Garland here, your um, stockings hanging up, 
My little cookie and book set up there and then everything repeats. Very cute. I like how a lot of these are really thin, so if you need just a thin divider, you can use that or the bigger one. And honestly, these could probably go over like full boxes too, or like at the bottom of full boxes. That would be a really cute idea. So I'm going to try to make those work and like fit them in somehow. All right, and now for the many, many flat leaves that I have. So starting off with this one, this one might be my favorite actually. This is the picnic one. It is so cute. Look at those colors. It's, I love the blue and green. It's gorgeous and then the yellow like that's so pastel and springy and beautiful so you've got your two little sub sandwiches right there which is so funny and then cookies and fruit and a little sun hat on the camera i like how she does two sizes too that's definitely a favorite so like this is an actual fat lay but this could just be like you know like a character sticker very cute and then pizza of course i had to get this that's like a very odd shape for a slice of pizza but all right i'll take it pretty self-explanatory. I don't have a ton of sick day flat lays, but I'm, I'm collecting them now. So here's one of my more recent ones. You got your little chicken noodle soup and your medicine, your candy, your thermometer, your tissues. I don't get sick too much unless I forget my allergy pill one night and then I'm sick for a week because that's just how I roll. I swear to God, I'm looking at this sheet and I swear to God that I already have this sheet. I don't know what I'm thinking, but now I got many. So this is the gingerbread baking sheet so for like Christmas baking gotta love me some gingerbread um and then this is the kind of like fall decorating sheet so it's like a fat lay of just pumpkins and stuff and this really pretty tablescape I wasn't gonna get this at first but I decided to just throw it in because it's pretty and I really like the tablescape one very cute and then here's the fall reading one so we got the book and the little pumpkins in the mug. Two different designs there. And then more fall baking. So you got two different types of pies there. And then pumpkin cookies right here. And of course, the PSL one. So this is just kind of generic. And then there is little cup with the PSL and some books. I don't really know when I would use this because I can't imagine, you know, spending a significant enough chunk of my day getting a PSL to merit using a flat lay, but now I have it in case I ever do. And then, of course, the Halloween ones. I'm not really sure what I would use this for other than like Halloween decorating, which I don't really intend to do very much of, but just in case, but I really like the candy one. It's good for like setting out a bowl of candy like giving out candy to trick-or-treaters or something and then the last one from this order is this um hot chocolate fat light so this would be good for like any time of year it's not necessarily christmas specific except for the string of lights but, but i do like how detailed it is with the little peppermint sticks and the marshmallows and the little chocolate bars very cute i do love hot chocolate I don't have enough hot chocolate stickers that like aren't Christmas specific. Oh. I just got like really bad hiccups all of a sudden. All right, so I'm gonna try to get rid of those before I start the next section. This is already like a really long haul, but I gotta keep going with it. I've already done this far. So the last part of this haul is gonna be my um, simply Gilded Order. And this was the Halloween release. I didn't get everything from the Halloween release, but I did get a lot. I got what I thought I would use. That I thought I'd be more likely to use. This is the journaling card that came with it. They always come kind of bent, but if you contact customer service, they'll usually replace it for you, but I don't ever care enough because, like, I'm not using these, like, in a setup or anything. I'm I just display them, if anything, just temporarily. But this is really cute. It's pink with a gold foiled kind of like jack-o'-lantern face. Um, I got some seals. So this is the freebie seal that came with it. It is purple with... I don't want to say that's rose gold foil because it, it looks purple right now. Honestly, I have no idea, but it's pretty. And then I got the peppermint 
I think the I think that's the peppermint. Um, just set of seals here. These were part of the Mystery Monday, I think, and uh, they were really cheap, so I just threw them in. Again, I really only ever intend to use seals as like for actual envelopes that I send out, like thank you notes, or like this would probably be for Christmas cards or something. So that is my intention there. And the really special seals that I have, I'm probably gonna save just for like planner peeps. Um, Cause I do have some really nice ones from Wonton and a million that I'm not just gonna throw on any randos Christmas card. So but these are really pretty. I like all the Christmassy designs with those seals. I think they were like a dollar or something or like a dollar 45 or something really cheap. All right, so then let's get into the actual washi. So you can see really obviously what I have here. Um, I'm just gonna start with this. This was a Mystery Monday too. It is the forest green with gold foil and the 10 millimeter. It's actually super hard to see like on screen what it actually looks like. Um, so I'm gonna kind of unroll it and see if that helps because I don't know if it's gonna help but I hope it does because I actually want a forest green washi and not one that looks like black. So let me try to find the end here. There we go. That's not a forest green looking at it, it's more like a hunter green. Just in case you were curious. Um, it's definitely got more blue in it than you would think for like a dark green. So like laying it down, you wouldn't even necessarily know it was green unless you like paired it with a spread that had a lot of this specific color green in it, which is gonna be hard to find, but it's possible. And like, it's really hard to see even now gonna try to hold it up and see if that helps, which it probably doesn't at all because of the lighting right now, but it is, it is a very, very dark hunter green. But I'll add it to my collection and I'll try to find a use for it somehow. So the only larger bow set I got, there were many, she had like black with like many different colors of foil bows. Like I think uh, green and purple were most likely some of them, but I of course went with the orange. So I got black with the orange foil in the 15 millimeter and the 10 min millimeter because I knew that I was most likely only going to use one of the, um, let me try to get this out, one of the Halloween bow foils in a spread. Like it, and it was most likely not going to be the case that I was going to reach for like the green one or the purple one. Like those are less commonly used in Halloween spreads than orange, obviously. So I kind of had to decide what I would be more likely to use. I could have gotten them all, but I don't want to waste my washi space with washies that I know I'm not going to reach for. So I just went with the classic orange. And it does look kind of like a dark orange now that you're looking at it. It's a very dark orange. Or maybe it's just the black making it look dark, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. I still think it's very cool. The The colored foil looks really neat on it, and I like how she's experimenting more with colored foils. I don't have the entire color love selection, or collection rather. I only have these four uh, of the five millimeter. Because like, honestly, I prefer to use actual solidly colored washi rather than just the bows be colored on a white background because I feel like that doesn't show up as well. But if the background is black and the bows are orange, that, you know, that's definitely some good contrast for Halloween. So that made sense for me to get. So that's what I got there. And then I got tons of the five millimeter. So the other bows I got were obviously all the colors in five millimeter. So we have the um the green that I was telling you about that came in the bigger size too. I am actually gonna take this out. I don't know why I didn't take it out beforehand. Do I usually do that in hauls when I'm doing washi? Do I usually take them out of the plastic before I show them to you? I don't think I do. But I am going to now because I feel like the foil shows up much better if I take it out. So I'm just like wrench these apart because they don't they don't like to come apart, these five millimeter stacks. They never do. So here is the green, that actually looks really pretty. So if I need to throw this color into a spread, I now can because I have the five millimeter, which I use as headers. So that is an option for me. I just didn't need the bigger sizes. The purple, same deal there. It's a gorgeous purple. 
You can only see it if I turn it at the right certain angle. This looks kind of pinky there. Anyway, so there's, so there's the purple and green, and then the orange like you've seen before. So there's the whole orange collection if you're curious about that. And then this one is just white. It is not foiled at all. It is just white bows, which I still think is really pretty, if not as striking. It still definitely has its place in the spread. So that would be really cool if she did a white 5mm with black bows, just plain black. That'd be cool. All right, so that's the bows that I'm going to add to my bow collection. And then here we have the two designs. So. The fun thing about this is that I think she also included many of these fun Halloween designs in 7.5 millimeters, and it's been a very long time since she's done that, since she's done 7.5 millimeters, and that is the more classic header size. So let me pull out the ones that I have. Well, I have five right now. Um, here's just one of them, for example. So that is more typically a header size, whereas the 15 or the five millimeter is you know, considerably smaller. Um, so if you wanted to substitute washi for headers, this would be the more accurate size to do so. But um, I kind of changed my mind when I placed this order. And my thinking was that if I am going to use washi as headers, instead of using actual headers, because I don't know, for some reason I can't use headers with that kit, I am aware that my days are typically extremely busy to the point where I need as much space as possible to mark things down. And the bigger the header, or at least the more normal size to the header, the more space it takes up and the less space I have to write down my activities for the day. But if I use a five millimeter header, that leaves me, you know, 2.5 more millimeters of space with which to write down my daily activities. So my thinking is that now I'm going to I'm going to tend to stray more towards um getting 5 mm washies to use as headers for that reason. So I opted to get these fun designs in the 5 mm only. So here are these skulls. These come in three different colors here. There is no rose gold, which I think makes sense and was probably a wise decision there. Um so here is the black with silver. Here's the black with gold. And then here's the black with hollow, which is very cool. It's kind of harder to tell. It's easier to tell in person that it's hollow, but you can tell in when it hits the light. So here's all of them all together. I'm going to try to separate these in case I get the hollow and silver confused. But those are the skulls. So these would be good replacement headers for a Halloween spread. And then lastly, we have the bats. And the bats are a little more unique in that the foil colors are not different, but rather the background colors are. So these are the only really multicolored washies that I got in this order. And quite possibly were the only ones offered, I don't remember. But um, they are all gold foiled. So here's the black with the gold foil bats. Here's the white. And then as a fun addition, we also get purple and gray. So here's the purple, and then here's the gray. I'm not too sure how often I'm going to be able to use the purple and gray bats, but at least I have an option to use them if I want, and I do have the black and white ones. So here are all the fun Halloween designs that I got from the Halloween release. This, again, this is not all of them by any means, but it's just the ones that I feel like I'm more likely to use to reach for. And then the extra little forest green that's actually hunter green. And last but not least from this order and for this haul, I did get the Juniper plush. She is so cute and so plushy, and I love her, her soft little dress and the way she sits upright like that and her little little bunny butt with her little bunny tail. It's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. Her ears are a little funny and a little bit long. I don't know. Her ears, ear, her ears just don't feel super right to me. Like I would think that maybe they'd be a little bit bigger around this part instead of just being like very thin the whole way. But that's probably just how Juniper looks and I just have to be okay with that. I don't know what this is either. I don't know if that's like a mistake or if that's just how she looks. I don't remember at all. I'll have to look that up, but that's still cute. Um, and then 
her little bunny feet and little bunny paws, which are also very cute, and little hearts. So this is a pretty well-made plush. It's um, it's my first plushie from a planner or sticker shop. I don't have the one ton in a million plushies yet. I do intend to get one eventually, but I just had to get the Juniper because she's so soft and so cute and she would look so great sitting on my washi drawers or like my shelves somewhere. Yeah, she would, she would be adorable. I'm probably not going to let her near my snake though because my snake will totally desecrate her as she has done many times with her shark. So, so she will be my, my sacred buddy. All right, so that is it for my Simply Gilded order, and that is it for this haul in its entirety. Again, there's more stuff on the way, so stay tuned for the next haul. They're coming pretty regularly now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share as usual, that would be amazing, and I'll love you forever. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao!